There are just no words for this outfit. Bianca Sensory left little to the imagination in this nude catsuit that she wore in Italy with Kanye. Now, I'm shocked that she just has no care in the world because she could be imprisoned for an outfit like this or even fined. But an Bianca has been facing an onslaught of negative publicity with the media trying to portray her as a mafioso princess and even labeling her as a whore due to her fashion choices. But what's really going on behind the scenes? Let's uncover the truth and expose Kim's jealousy towards Bianca's youth, her relationship with Kanye and their adorable daughter, North. Get ready for some explosive news that will leave you shocked. It seems like the media has been having a field day attacking Bianca Sensori from all angles. They have been quick to label her as a mafioso princess, painting an unfair and inaccurate picture of her character. This all started with Daily Mail and TMZ that deliberately started to push a narrative that Bianca's family has a background of criminals, including her own father, Leo. Now, it might be true, but the way all news outlets have been so invested in pushing this narrative like for everyone to know her background, some fans believe there is an extra hand involved. Additionally, Bianca has been criticized for her fashion choices, with some claiming that she dresses inappropriately. If you have been keen with the media lately, you will agree that the media is 100% invested in Bianca and not for the good reasons, but for the bad. Recently, they have been trying so hard to bring this narrative that Italians are not happy with the what Bianca dresses. In fact, some went an extra mile to claim that the inappropriate dressing in Italy can be punished with a fine of euros. In this new catsuit that she wore in Italy with Kanye. Now, I'm shocked that she just has no care in the world because she could be imprisoned for an outfit like this or even fined of 500 euros. Fans believe that the alleged negative comments about Bianca's outfits on social media must have been planted. But who is really behind this negative publicity? Our investigation suggests that Kim Kardashian is the mastermind behind these attacks. There are conflicting reports about how Kim Kardashian feels about her ex Kanye's recent wardrobe malfunction. The Sun reports that Kim is desperately embarrassed and worried by Kanye's antics and that she believes something clearly isn't right with him. Why? Because she has been so vocal about her distrust for Bianca and the close bond she has with Kanye and her daughter North. All this has been fueled by her own jealousy. Now critics have been able to prove this jealousy through Kim's recent desperate actions. According to the founder of Power Thoughts, a London-based organization, Natalie Kowasta says that feelings of jealousy that Kim is experiencing are very common among separated parents. She explained to the US Sun saying, jealousy comes from a space of fear and worry that something will be taken away from us. It comes from a protective space, wanting to protect what's important to you. So at least now we know that Kim's jealousy is normal, but going ahead and turning the other party's image just because you're jealous, isn't that just being evil? But also, let's not forget that Kim's jealousy isn't limited to Bianca alone. Her older sister, Kourtney Kardashian, has also been a target of Kim's envy for years. Now, just like Bianca, Kourtney has struggled to control Kim's bullying behavior. Kim's jealousy stems from feeling overshadowed by Kourtney's accomplishments, which are n not that much, by the way, but the little she has, like her successful co-parenting relationship with Scott Disick or her commitment to a healthy lifestyle and not stressing over the ratings of their show, just gets Kim all worked up. It seems that Kim's inability to handle her own insecurities has led to her lashing out at those closest to her. Like this one time during one of the episodes of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, where she claimed that Courtney should leave the show because she has nothing to offer and that she is the least exciting of all the sisters to look at. And the bullying didn't stop there, but it went on and on and on until recently, Kim Sen even went to an extra mile 
during Courtney's wedding and used it to promote her Dolce and Gabbana by stealing her sister's ideas and designs and using them for the brand. Now this sparked a feud between these two to a point that now Courtney has decided to leave her family and focus on her own that she's trying to build up with Travis Barker. Let's also not forget that she's expecting the baby so soon so the farther she is from Kim the better for her baby's health. Yeah, that's how toxic Kim is. In fact, that's what Bianca is dealing with. Because imagine her trolling her sister like that publicly. Now imagine how about you who has her again rich ex. Anyway, in the midst of this ongoing feud, Kourtney Kardashian has emerged as a beacon of strength and wisdom. Having faced Kim's jealousy and bullying firsthand, she knows what it takes to handle such toxic behavior. Courtney has decided to become a pillar of support for Bianca, offering her advice and guidance on how to navigate through the Kim storm. She encourages Bianca to stay true to herself and not to let the negativity get to her. Just like the way she has been doing it all this time, now apart from staying true, which Courtney has clearly done by not allowing Kim's comments about how she looks like to get to her and that that is by not going under the knife that is getting a plastic surgery to change the way she looks like. Courtney has managed to stay natural among all her sisters and also stood up against Kim several times. Now those of you who are seeing Courtney giving a deaf ear to Kim concluding she is scared of her, you are completely wrong. Courtney among all her sisters is the only one brave enough to stand up against Kim Kardashian. Let's rewind to that time when Courtney and Kim had a physical fight on the show and Courtney beat the hell out of her. It's not something that Bianca is advised to do because a lawsuit will definitely be knocking on her door. But what Courtney has learned all throughout these years is to give a deaf ear to Kim and that's how you can fight her. Now given the fact that Courtney is also talented and has this happy family with Travis, then cooperating with Scott is just doing so fine. It adds to Kim's jealousy, but also keep in mind that these are the same reasons Kim hates Bianca. Family, talent, husband. So Courtney helping out Bianca might be just the best revenge she can give Kim. Also, maybe a Courtney Bianca duo can finally bring Kim to her level. Now, as news of Kim's jealousy and bullying tactics spreads, fans are rallying behind Bianca and Courtney. Social media has become a platform for supporters to express their outrage at the unfair treatment Bianca has received. Many fans are praising Bianca for staying strong in the face of adversity, while others are commending Courtney for her resilience and for providing a positive influence in Bianca's life. As one fan wrote saying, Courtney is just tired of all the drama and over it. Good for her. Then another said, good for Courtney, Kim is a bully and someone has to put her in her place. Then the other said, I think it's great that Courtney came to her defense and you have to remember Bianca is very talented and where Kim took off her clothes she also laid on her back to get famous, Bianca has a brain and she uses hers unlike Kim that uses hers for the wrong reasons. Then another said, Courtney knows what a witch and evil person Kim is. I'm glad she stepped up to the plate to reveal the truth about Kim. And that's a wrap up for today. If you found this update on the Bianca Kim Courtney drama intriguing, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell for future updates. Until next time, stay strong and remember to be true to yourself.